What's going on guys? Joey's Rides here. Coming at you from beautiful Tuscany in Italy. Where I've very kindly been invited by uh, Yamaha Motor Switzerland and Yamaha Motor EU and Faster Sons to the XSR 900 launch. Super excited about test riding this bike today. I already have a little bit of an idea of what it's going to feel like because I had the privilege and opportunity to test the new Yamaha MT-09 a couple months ago, the MT-09 SP and the regular MT-09. And yeah, there's quite a few similarities between that bike and this bike, but in terms of looks, obviously this one, they went with the full retro styling. Either you love it or hate it, I absolutely love it. I think it looks gorgeous, especially in this sexy blue color you see here on the tank. And I'm so anxious to get out there and really see what this thing can do on the beautiful streets here in Tuscany. So sit back and relax and hope you enjoy the video. Another huge thanks to Yamaha and Faster Sons for picking this gorgeous location here in Tuscany with the hotel right on the hilltop back there. It's just a stunning location. No wonder they come down here to test bikes. But one thing you notice right off the bat though is how good these exhausts sound. What they've done with these stock exhausts is really impressive. Beautiful sound, especially when you push the engine a little bit. Mode. Okay. And then with this. Okay. One is more. Uh, One is more aggressive. Yeah. More okay. Aggressive. Two is more softer. Okay. Thank you. Well, One is less aggressive. Means uh, less control. One okay. Is less control. Two. More control. That's good. Thank you. Okay. So just switched all the drive modes and traction controls down to their minimums, and now let's go. The mid-range torque in this thing is just unbelievable. I mean, first impressions are just mind-blowing. You're gonna see me using the clutch a lot because I often forget to use the quick shifter. I'm just so used to using the clutch over all the years I've been riding with my bike. This is not going to be a full review of this bike, of course, because I only have it for about uh, two hours or so. All I can do is just tell you what it feels like right off the bat when you first ride it and yeah, my general thoughts on it. But I just wanted to share a little bit of this incredible riding experience here with you guys today. I already pretty much decided as soon as I got to Tuscany that I'm going to be coming back pretty soon with my own bike. It's just an absolute dream here. Oh. That was this big stick in the road. That mid-range torque, you just would not believe. And it feels so planted in the corners. Hell of a riding experience right out of the gate. So agile. Buttery smooth up and down quick shifter. Beautiful to use. Just flipping up the gears with the quick shifter is just an absolute dream. It's like butter. That pull from second to third is just biblical. Of course, my impressions of the bike are now coming from someone who's mainly ridden the MT-09. SP from 2018 for the last four years so I don't really have much to compare it to in terms of larger bikes like the MT-10 or other leader bikes but what I can tell you compared to the the old MT-09 or the old XSR 900 which I also had the privilege to test out 
everything just seems a little bit better the engine has a bit more power bit more torque chassis feels a little bit more stable and controllable in the corners it, it seems like they've just improved on every little aspect a tiny bit which is makes for one hell of a package and then combined with the aesthetics of this bike if you like it of course makes for one hell of a bike These bikes also come out of the factory with S22s installed and the S22 is one hell of a tire. I had the S22s on my own MT-09 back in Sardinia about two years ago and yeah that tire absolutely blew me away. Unbelievable amounts of grip especially in warm temperatures like this. Absolute hell of a tire that you can really push and feel confident in. That mid-range torque and power that they've managed to squeeze out of the CP3 is just an absolute dream to use. You don't even have to redline this thing to really get the punch out of the engine. Which is just perfect for the streets because I mean a lot of the times we just got a short shift just to keep it within legal ranges and everything so you're not really losing a whole lot of excitement and fun. At least that's the feeling I get. As an entire package it just feels a little bit better in every single regard. And that's exactly what you want from a new model right? I mean if it's not improved in basically every aspect what's the point? There's just torque everywhere, even low, down, and sixth. You can really feel there's still a little bit of a punch that the engine manages to give you. Somehow, even short shifting on this thing doesn't really take away from the fun, because as soon as you shift up from second to third, you instantly get that whole bag of torque again that the mid-range offers. Spectacular what this engine feels like. So right out of the gate, it's an absolute pleasure to ride this thing the engine is just mwah! and it offers a lot more in terms of electronics of course with that electronics package it comes with i won't be going into too much detail about the modes and the electronics and everything i'll just be telling you more about what i think the bike feels like and my first impressions of it it's significantly more punchy in the mid-range that's that's a significant improvement i gotta say uh, the chassis is a little bit stiffer and a little bit more controllable in the corners that's at least what i feel like not sure how comfortable it is gonna, it's going to be compared to mine or the old XSR on long trips, but on these super twisty roads here, it definitely feels better. These S22s are really doing their job here on these hot roads. So now we just got treated to a nice lunch by the coast. And now the test continues. Gonna do a little bit of highway on the way back where we can probably test out the power a little bit. And then after that, we're gonna be doing some tracking shots with the bikes and then we head back to the hotel. So what we're gonna try now is a little bit of highway just to see what this new CP3 is really capable of. How this thing pulls on the highway is just spectacular. Don't even know how to describe that feeling. The beautiful thing with all that power and torque in the mid-range is that you can short shift all day long and it's still a hell of a lot of fun. You don't really feel like you're missing out a whole lot on that initial punch the engine gives you when you open up the throttle, even if you're short shifting on this bike somehow. Really, really nicely done on this, on this new updated CP3. Super happy with it. And just a few more things I wanted to mention that I didn't have enough time to on my ride. For 2022, the XSR900 will come in two color options, which are Legend Blue, which is my personal favorite, and Midnight Black. The bike will offer full LED lighting with a retro style LED headlight up front, as well as LED indicators to complete the full LED lighting package. Very happy to say that it now comes standard with cruise control, Braking performance on the bike was definitely not disappointing with a Brembo radial front master cylinder and dual 298mm discs up front, the combination of which gave a really really nice initial hard bite and also a great feel to the brakes themselves.
In terms of suspension, we have a fully adjustable KYB set of forks up front and a preload and rebound adjustable rear shock also by KYB. One feature that I found really interesting on this bike are the passenger foot pegs that Yamaha came up with. As you can see, they're easily foldable away when not in use and actually fit pretty well with the look of the whole bike. A big sticking point for a lot of people that I've already talked to about the bike is the seat and the fact of how thick it is. I personally find that the seat looks pretty good on the bike and fits the lines well, especially with a rider on it. But for me personally, I would also look into getting a slimmer seat if I bought the bike for myself. And of course it wouldn't be a proper motorcycle vlog without one miserable microphone failure. So for the last two minutes you're gonna have to deal with some tedious subtitles. Sorry about that. And so we have the end of the XSR 900 test. It was an absolute hell of a day. Huge thanks to Yamaha and Faster Sun for organizing such an incredible event. Got to meet a lot of cool people and most importantly test out this incredible bike. I'm a huge, huge fan. I'm sure you could already tell by the excitement in my voice while I was talking about it before. Yeah, so far there's not really that many faults I can find with the bike. The seat is a little bit on the hard side. The suspension is also set up a little bit on the hard side in case you want to do long day trips or even a couple day long tours. But for, for short stints like what we did today, and just for blasting around the twisties, this setup is just perfect. Chassis feels incredible, super agile in the corners, super stable. Also thanks to a longer wheelbase than the old XSR 900. For me, it's just one hell of an all-around great package. Incredible looks, which are subjective of course, I love how it looks. Just amazing performance, that CP3 engine only got better. You guys know how much I love the CP3. Just because how much I've ridden my own MT09 and the fact that I've decided never to ever sell that bike, I just kind of go with it. Yeah, the, the engine only got better. And the rest of the bike followed suit. Just an amazing package of yeah. Very, very happy with it. So now I'm gonna head back up to the hotel on that incredible hilltop you see there. Have a couple of beers, have a nice dinner. And that will conclude the XSR 900 launch here in Tuscany. Hope you guys enjoyed that short video and my thoughts on the bike in general. If you have any questions or comments, please feel free to leave them down in the comments below or send me a message or check me out on Instagram, which is where I do most of my social media, at joeys underscore rides. And I hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Talk to you later.